are you? G'day. This video is about my sustainment level camping gear. That's my Line 3 stuff. As distinct from my first line, which is my everyday carry, and my second line, which is the survival and day bag. This is the stuff that keeps us comfortable for an extended stay in the bush. I'll give you a bit of a brief history on what, how my gear has evolved and then we'll get on with what I've got now. When my friends and I first started going camping together some 32 years ago, our clothing was whatever was warm and comfortable and waterproof that we could find in our own wardrobes and our equipment was whatever we could cobble together or beg, steal or borrow. In this case we've got a tent with no poles and a rather large plastic bag that Stuart is trying to fasten up to form a, a makeshift tent. Then I started amassing dedicated camping gear, a lot of it army surplus such as the German army pack in this picture, um, American army Alice rigs, plus a variety of dedicated camping gear such as the knife and the tramping boots, got myself a decent tent, hammock, sleeping bag, eating equipment, some of it was a mixture of stuff from the local scout shop, others from the local army navy store. Then I worked on improving and refining my equipment, finding better, lighter, more compact stuff, such as the lightweight tent, polypropylene clothing, which is drier, lighter and warmer than cotton, and it's been an ongoing job ever since. So now I've completely done away with all cotton clothing for my camping gear and have gone almost completely to synthetics such as the fleece for the sleeveless jacket or polypropylene for the t-shirt. It's warmer, it dries quicker and it's nowhere near the hassle of cotton. And now on with the equipment. In keeping with trying to lighten things down and make things more compact, this is my former sleeping bag. It's a Domex Black Ice. It's comfortable temperatures around the negative 8 mark and by that it means that if it's any warmer than negative 8 you cook. It's bloody uncomfortable. It weighs 1.6 kilos and takes up around 14 to 16 litres even in a compression sack. Since I don't often go camping in the snow it's not a lot of use to me. Instead, I've purchased this, it's the Roman Palm 4, as you can see there it says 1.1 kilos and it compresses down to about 8.36 litres in my pack. If you're wondering why they call it the Palm, that might be a bit of an indication for you. So it's nice and compact, it's rated down to 5 degrees Celsius, which is not a biggie because you can get sleeping bag liners if need be, which can add another 1 to 5 degrees warmth for you, and you can always just layer up with extra clothes when you go to bed anyway. Uh, don't generally, as I say, sleep above the snow line, so... I'm not too concerned about needing a negative whatever bag. The tent in the last picture is this one here. It's a Mac Pack Ultralight, little single hoop dome tent, single person, barely enough room for one person in it really, but it's light enough to carry a great distance. bit of handy equipment, as I said I'm going to synthetics. This is a microfiber towel. It weighs a fraction of one of the smaller towels that I've got here at home and folds up into quite a small thing. Not that I anticipate going swimming or whatever but if I get saturated wet because it's raining on the trail when I get to my campsite I can dry myself off before putting my nice warm clo dry clothes on 
and getting into my sleeping bag. <coughs> the next morning, of course, it's off with the nice warm clothes and back on with the wet ones, which because they are polypropylene, fleece or polyester, should hopefully have dried enough throughout the night that they won't be too uncomfortable in the morning. In the same ilk, I've got a microfiber tea towel for cleaning my mess kit or drying off my mess kit afterwards. The advantage to microfiber of course is it absorbs a lot of water and then you just wring it out and keep going. Hang it up, next morning it's dry. Start on with part of my mess. Here's my cooker. It's this little folding one here. Those things fold out, lock into place. Fits on little gas canister. This is the smaller size one. It's only the uh, 220 gram one or 8.1 ounces. It's all I need for me for um, about five or more nights. Knife, fork, and spoon kit. Mug, enamel, because as I pointed out in my earlier video, you can tend to burn your lips if you try drinking straight out of the Dixie after you've made a coffee in it. Bug spray and sunscreen lotion to take care of two of the major annoyances when you're up camping. Toilet paper in a plastic bag, a larger but still fairly compact first aid kit to supplement the one that I carry in my survival kit. So when if I need any serious work done, this is here. It's also got a small repair kit in here, needle and thread, in case I have to stitch up my clothes or my pack because of unforeseen accidents. I also carry an 8 foot by 10 foot plastic tarpaulin folded up and slid down into the back of my pack. It's very very handy if we're going from hut to hut. If anything goes wrong we've got a makeshift shelter. This is not carrying the tents because we're going to the huts. And if I am carrying the tent as well I still keep the tarp because it could be um, a handy makeshift windshield or extra rain break so I could at least have my cooking fire outside underneath the tarp if the weather turns really foul. And that pretty much wraps it up so far as equipment goes. Because I'm carrying my warm gear, my hat, my gloves, balaclavas and such in my day bag worn on the front of my chest I don't have much in the way in my pack. I've got a warm fleece jacket and one set of clothes which is trousers, t-shirt, maybe the sleeveless vest and some extra socks. The rest of it is food which will vary depending on how many days I'm spending up there. I've got an assortment of packs ranging from 30 litres up to 65 litres which basically I can select from depending on how many days I'm going camping. And that is my sustainment line 3 equipment. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much.